Today I'm going to give away a free t-shirt, bring you a comic hero throw out a shout out fight, bring you comics news, and reveal the books I bought this week. How y'all doing? I'm Victor, and you are watching a comic hero show. Now kick that intro! Comic Hero Show. I'm your host Victor Nunley and I am the Comic Hero. The Summer of Superheroes continues and on this episode I'm paying tribute to the Star Spangled Avenger, Captain America. Now this year marks Captain America's 80th anniversary. He was created by Joe Simon and Jack Kirby in 1941 and whether it be Steve Rogers, Bucky Barnes, Sam Wilson, or even John Walker, everyone has loved this character and um, me and I happen to be one of them. And this is a Captain America comic hero tee, and the side of speech bubble is kind of a simile of, of his original shield. And then, um, then of course I have the, um, uh, the army, of uh, army insignia, which is, which is also called the good old Steve insignia. Um, really love this character, really love what this character, um, represents. He, I mean, he represents everything good about America. And also, I'm um, wearing this shirt not because it's not just because it's the 80th anniversary, but also because of a book that's going to be featured in Comic Books Up Off this weekend. Now, of course, I've been talking about it. It's the United States of Captain America number one, and I can't uh, wait for I can't wait to show y'all the cover of it. But for right now, it's time to give away a free T-shirt. Around last week's episode, I asked, true or false, Jack Kirby's real name was Jacob Kurtzberg. The correct answer is true. And um, I found out that that wasn't the only pen name that he went by. One of them that he went by was Jack Curtis. Well, the correct answer is true, and 18 people have answered correctly, and because they've answered correctly, their names have been entered in the drawing for a free team. And that drawing takes place right now. So the winner of the free team for this week's episode of the show is... Matt Harris from Bentonville, Arkansas. So congratulations, Matt, for winning some free comic hero game. All right, here's the question for next week's episode, and this is a Marvel question. Which late night talk show host was a 2008 presidential candidate in the Marvel Universe? Now, here are the hints. The first hint is that this talk show host once wrote a book in 2007 that was a number one seller in a New York Times seller list called I Am America and So Can You. All right, the second hit, and this is a dead giveaway. This talk show host hosted a, had his own TV show on Comedy Central that ran from 2005 until 2014 called The Blank Report. And then the third and final hit, this is a real dead giveaway. This talk show host has been the host of The Late Show on CBS since 2015. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in a drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. All right, now the Comic Girl Throwdown Showdown uh, segment is re um, is reserved for fans to make requests for fights. But every once in a while, I like to come up with one, and this one features two former Captain Americans, the current and then the one from the 80s. Represent Marvel, we have Captain America. And, rep and also represent Marvel, we have U.S. Agent. These two are going to duke it out in a segment I like to call... The Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Welcome to the Comic Hero Throwdown Showdown. Today, it's Captain America versus U.S. Agent. Captain America possesses enhanced strength, speed, stamina, durability, agility, reflexes, senses, and mental processing. He also possesses accelerated healing, immunity to diseases and toxins, slowed aging, 
The use of a vibranium steel alloy shield it is a master martial artist and hand-to-hand -hand combatant, tactician, strategist, and field commander. U.S. Agent is an exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combatant and highly trained acrobat and gymnast who possesses superhuman strength, agility, reflexes, and endurance. He also possesses peak level speed, dexterity, coordination, and balance, and the use of a nearly indestructible shield and firearms. Who will win? This fight would definitely start off with hand-to-hand -hand combat. The two would trade punches and kicks for minutes on end. Because they both excel at this so well, the two wouldn't be able to land any blows. U.S. Agent would try to play dirty by abruptly pulling out a starter pistol and shooting Cap in the arm. The latter grabs the shield and hurls it with all his might at the former. U.S. Agent thinks this shield can withstand Cap's shield. Unfortunately, not only does Cap's shield crack U.S. Agent's shield in half, but it knocks U.S. Agent out in the process. Cap looked down at U.S. Agent and says, I was going to treat you to a beer, soldier, but you messed that up with that stunt you pulled. Captain America wins, and that concludes this fight on the Comic Heroes Throwdown Showdown. All right, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that fight. I'll have another one for next week. But if y'all have any requests y'all want to make, go ahead and make them. Um, they can be superhero versus superhero, supervillain versus superhero, supervillain versus supervillain, and even a comic book character against a video game character. All right, now it's time for Comically Speaking. So without further ado, let's talk comics! There are three things we're going to talk about in this segment of Comically Speaking, and here's the first. Now, a few weeks ago, I brought y'all some news about a Black Man of Many series coming to DC in September. Um, at the time, I didn't know what the plot was. I, I found out what it was, and, it, and honestly, I thought that this was going to be a plot. It's going to be a mini series as a response to his son, Jackson Hyde, becoming the new Aquaman. It's not. In, in this mini series, there's this new metal uh, popping up throughout different parts of the world, and Black Man is going to stop at nothing to try to get all the metal for himself. And along the way, there's this um, one of his former allies, this woman named Torin, who just literally came back from the dead, is is co going after this metal for herself. And um, it's and then I think somewhere along the um, the run of the miniseries. It, um, it's going to come to a head. and I'm not sure if I want to read that main series or not. Um, Black Manta has always been one of those characters that, you know, that that I really I really didn't know that much about. But, um, I don't know. I, I never say never. I, I may still, I may still read it. I mean, although the story arc kind of uh, story arc of the miniseries kind of makes me want to reconsider, but, oh well. Alright, now the second thing is that, um, I just found this out for sure. Now, uh, a few months ago, at, or rather at the beginning of the year, DC had come out with this, uh, line of miniseries called Future State, and in one of them, John Kent, who's pre, who's currently Superboy, becomes Superman. Well, in a few months, that's gonna come to fruition, because, he is going to take on the mantle of Superman for himself. Now, as to what happens to Clark, I don't know. Now, in the um, the future the future state miniseries, he ends up off world and having to um, take on different warriors from from different planets. I don't know if that's going to be the case of. Uh, in, in the all in the monthly books going moving forward, but um, at first I was a little upset about it because I'm thinking uh, he's not ready. I mean he, he just isn't. But um, I, I love what Philip Kennedy Johnson is doing in, in, in the books so far, and um, I just hope he can deliver on this. All right, and the third and final thing is that two more guests 
have been added to the list of guests at GeekCon coming next month at the Shreveport Convention Center in Shreveport, Louisiana. And those are actress scout uh, Taylor Compton and then illustrator uh, Brian Stewart. Now, uh, Scott Taylor Compton has starred in uh, both Halloween movies that, that have been directed by uh, Rob Zombie. And she's also been in different other uh, in different other projects, whether it's on the TV or the, flip, or the big screen. And she's also known as the modern day screen queen. And then uh, Brian and then Stewart, Brian Stewart, he's been an illustrator of books like Kiss the Magazine and Heavy Metal. Now, Heavy Metal has been a, has been around for a very long time, and um, and I've never bought an issue of heavy metal but I have read them uh, on newsstands and I, I've seen some of his work his work is amazing and so you have you have two great awesome people being added to the to the great list at, Ge- at Geekon that makes me even more proud to be a part of to being a part of it although I'm going to be a vendor um, for those of y'all that are um, just now watching I'm going to be a vendor at Geekon next month so if you're watching this and you're going to be in the area, come on by. Don't just su- don't just support me, but support everyone, all the other vendors, and all the guests that are going to be at Geekon. I mean, it's really going to be a lot of fun. All right, that's it for Cogly speaking. Now let's get to the comics I bought this week. Comic books I bought this week. All right, first up is Black Cat Annual number one. Cable number 11. Infinite Frontier Secret Files. Planet Size X Men, Teen Titans Academy Yearbook, twenty twenty one, Teen Titans Academy number four. Really excited about this book. The United States of Captain America number one. This is also another reason why I'm wearing a Captain America comic hero tee. And I want to and I want you to show to show this to y'all. This is the this is a double cover by Alex Ross, and it, and it features um, Sam Wilson, Steve Rogers, Bucky Barnes, and John Walker. All four have been Captain Americas. And finally, X Factor number 10. Alright, that's 8, which brings the total number of comics that I bought since December of 1997 to 10,693. All right, well, I hope you all enjoyed this week's episode. Here's a question again for a free tea for next week's episode of the show. Which late-night talk show host was a presidential candidate in 2008 in the Marvel Universe? Now, here are the hints again. The first hint is that this person wrote a book in 2007 that was a number one seller's list in the New York Times called I Am America, and so can you. And then the second hint is this person had their own TV show from 2005 until 2014 on Comedy Central called The Blank Report. And then the third and final hint, this person has been the host of The Late Show on CBS since 2015. Everyone who answers correctly will be entered in the drawing for a free tea on next week's episode of the show. And congratulations to uh, Matt Harris from Bentonville, Arkansas, won a free tea on this week's episode. All right, on next week's episode, as part of the Summer of Superheroes, 
I'm going to wear a Thor comic hero tee. And then after that, I'm going to wear four comic hero tees on one episode, uh, showing some love for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And then after that, episode um, 365, 365, I'm going to wear um, a Captain Marvel comic hero tee. And then there, there are several others. And also, um, next month, I'm going to show some love to Marvel Comics as a whole. I'm going to wear a Marvel Comic Hero tee. So stay tuned for um, all these great episodes coming up. And it really, I really, you know, y'all have no idea how much I love doing this show. Uh, share my love of comics with y'all. And then also um, share my love, my love for life. I mean, life is a gift and we need to... Um, do a great job of, of, of um, maintaining that gift. All right, I'm Victor Nolley on the Comic Hero. I'll see you next week for episode 363. So until then, be safe, be blessed, be a hero! <laughs>